Hello, I'm back. Um, take took a little bit of a break from Show Tip Tuesday, but here we are. Um, today we are going to go over how to build an FAQ section, like the one you see here. Um, it looks like just the questions, but then when you click, um, the answer pops up, and then if you click on it again, um, it kind of collapses uh, back into itself. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to have a blank page here. And I'm going to pretend that we have like a nice header going on right here. This is some sort of sales page, let's say. And down here, we want to have some sort of um, FAQ section. So each section is going to be its own canvas. So the question will be its own canvas, the answer will be its own canvas, and then question two, answer two, et cetera, et cetera. So let's set this up. So I'm going to make this question one, and then we're going to add a blank canvas and have answer one. So I'm just going to build... here. Question one goes here like this. And of course you would fill that in. And then I'm also going to put an icon or an arrow to lead people to click. And I'm going to put it down so that people know that it's going to collab um, collapse underneath. Okay, so that is my question. And I'm going to leave that like this. Now on my answer one canvas, I'm going to go ahead and put whatever I want for the answer. Make this paragraph. Okay, well, we're just going to put some placeholder text in there for now. I'm going to shorten this up. Okay. Now to set these up correctly, we want to make the answer canvas hidden to start, which is under this canvas menu here, and we're going to click hidden to start. So that means that this isn't going to show up until it's triggered. The next thing that we're going to do is come up here and set our action on the arrow. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can just have the arrow down or you can set it up to have it go change to point up. Um, so that people know that they can unclick it as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, we're going to create a canvas view in our question one canvas, and I'm going to drag the down icon into that view. I'm then going to duplicate it, and on the second view, I'm just going to flip it around. Keep in mind that everything that we're doing here, you're also going to want to do on mobile as well. Um, you'll just have to arrange everything the same way, but the actions will carry over. Okay, so now back on our first view, we're going to click on the arrow because that's what I want people to click on to uncover the answer. You're going to go to click actions, and the first thing you're going to do is add an action to show canvas answer one. The next thing that we're going to do is set the canvas link click to action to go to view two. That way, not only is it going to uncover the answer, but you're also going to change the view to pop up. Okay, so now I'm gonna test this out. Okay, so you can see that my answer isn't showing, and when I click, this has come up and shown down below, and the arrow has um, switched to the up. So now I wanna set the up arrow to make this hide again. So to do that, we're basically just gonna do the opposite. On view two, click the upward arrow, and you're gonna select canvas, this canvas, view one. So now when I click, it uncovers, and when I click it again, oh, but you see now we forgot to hide our canvas here. So you can see that the arrow went down again, but what we need to do is add an action here to hide canvas A1. So the first canvas, 
goes to show the hidden canvas and goes to view two for the up arrow and the click action on the up arrow are to hide this and to go back to the original down arrow. So let's preview this now. So when we click down, it shows up. And when we click up, it goes back to the way it started. And that's how you would create um, your canvases for one question. And then what I recommend doing is once you've set that all up and you've gone over and fixed it all on mobile, which I have not done yet, but I will go back and do, um, you're just going to duplicate a Q1 and drag it below and an A1 and drag it below. And I'm going to rename these to Q2 and A2. And all you're going to have to do now is um, edit your click action. So instead of showing Canvas A1, we're going to want to show Canvas A2. But since we duplicated those arrows here, you don't need to set the um, click actions for those Canvas use because they're already in there copied over from the previous. So we're just going to need to um, change the action here. So then on view two, we will want to hide A2 instead of A1. So now we have two questions set up. And when we preview that, you can see that those look like this. And then I can uncover that. I can uncover this. And then, of course, hide both of them. And you can add as many as you want. You can see here on a site I developed that um, there's only four questions. Um, but of course, you can put as many as you would like. Uh, so that is how you would build out a FAQ section. Um, this is a great tool because it allows for multiple questions and you don't have to worry have, with having the same Canvas links, um, the lengths of Canvases having to be the same um, and things like that. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about FAQ sections um, and hope everyone is doing well.